Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Exilus here with a brand new video. Today I'm here with my OBS settings for streaming and recording. So we're going to hop right into it. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do uh, is change this theme to dark. It's way easier on the eyes. It makes everything actually way easier to see. I re really highly recommend it. Alright, and then if you go down here to the streaming, no, actually not the streaming, uh, output. Uh, make sure some of these options are grayed out for me because I am using OBS to record this right now So I don't have these options because I can't change them while I am recording But you're gonna have up here. It's gonna be simple change this up to advanced. You're gonna be under the streaming tab uh, You could have audio track 2 if you want audio track 2, but there's not really a point uh, Most people we you only have audio track 1 so that's the only one you should have checked uh, I use the encoder X264 that's better just for streaming for me uh, this box is checked my rescale output for streaming is 1080p uh, for, for down here rate control is CBR um, I think you use VBR if uh, the VBR goes off like your internet speed it changes the quality comparing to what your internet says but I have pretty good internet and a pretty good computer so I have mine set to CBR my bitrate for streaming is 3500 I, for streaming you don't really need it that high so that's why mine's pretty low uh, keyframe interval right here CPU usage fast for mine profiles high and tune none and this is all the same uh, so that's it for my streaming settings let's get straight into the recording ones this is my recording again you're not gonna see a lot of these because I am stream or uh, recording right now so you're gonna have this type standard recording path this is any recording path you want so make sure that th this is an empty file whatever wherever you want it for me I have it in my external drive not external but my extra drive one terabyte uh, made a folder called OBS 2 because this is the second video I need to edit so recording format uh, mp4 uh, if you guys need if you're using multiple audio tracks you can use right here it tells you which ones to use and then I have audio track one just like my streaming settings for recording if you have a NVIDIA graphics card which I have a GTX 980 not too high not too low uh, I use NVIDIA uh, Nev, Nevich, whatever the H264 this is the best one if you again have a Nv NVIDIA, NVIDIA graphics card uh, my rescale output for, for Recording is 720p because I actually render my videos in 720p, so I don't leave my computer on forever for it to render. This is blink. For my recording, I do use CBR also. You could also use VBR, but that's not really needed, especially when you're not streaming. Bitrate, uh, you could have it at 20, 25,000, but I have mine at 50,000. 50, uh, 25,000 is what YouTube usually compresses it down to, so that's not really needed extremely high. Keyframe interval is zero. Um, preset default is regular default. High profile level. I use 5.1, the highest one. GPU zero and B frames two. That's it for all my settings. For my hotkeys, I stream a lot, so this is just my hotkeys. You don't, don't really need to know that. Uh, down here, I use. This is for the red video. I just use Direct 3D 11. This you don't really need to know. This is all your preferences, like recording the format you wanted in. Anyways, so that's just gonna be it for this video. Quick little video because a bunch of you guys on my stream asked, "Can you release your settings and all that?" So I released it. Uh, anyways, see you guys next time. Peace out.